Hi chat boxes, so today I'm sat on my bed and as you can see in the background I'm sorting my doll stuff out. I moved a few things around and today it is my day of college. My dad went off to my grandma's house with her to sort out the chair lift. My brother and sister are at college, my other sister is at work and my oldest brother is coming down for the weekend so he'll be down any minute now he's making his way down so that'll be nice to see him because I haven't seen him since before Christmas and yeah I just heard Taylor Swift and Zayn Monarch's new song called Live Forever for the Fifty Shades of Grey film the second one I think it's Fifty Shades Darker and it is amazing it's just so good I love it I got it stuck in my head I had some amazing bread and a cup of tea and just watched some TV shows and films and I've just been resting. I had a really, 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 really long shower this morning because I was just extra tired. Also, I got up really early for some reason because I got up and just couldn't get back to sleep on my day off. And yeah, normally I like to have a nice line on my days off, but I was just up early. I listened to some Sophie Alex Spectre because she's got a new album out and I listened to some of her new songs. Obviously worked on some scripts and storylines for my doll show slash game slash drama hashtag a lot of slashes and yeah I played with my main blue tech doll and sorted out my office. Obviously worked on my book series and wrote some parts of a new song I'm working on and it's taken me quite a while to finish it but that's good. Spending lots of time focusing on that. And I realised that I've been watching Hollyoaks for ten years now last night when I was watching it. So tweeted about it, and the official Hollyoaks Twitter page liked my tweet. Also, this photographer did, took a photo of like a photo shoot for the a, a film that I like. I'm not sure it's the I think it's called The House of Peculiar Children or something like that. I can't remember what the name of the film is called, but she took a did a photo shoot with it with some YouTubers, Kerry. Fletcher was a co Fletcher was in the photo shoot and it was amazing and I said how amazing it is and she liked that as well and actually commented and said saying thank you and stuff so that was really sweet of her to do that. So yeah, getting lots of people commenting on my tweets and stuff, so that's quite good. I also shared a lot of soap stuff last night of like about the National Television Awards, about the soaps and stuff that's coming up. But Bob One's wedding is supposed to be eventful. And apparently there's dark times for Alan. I think it's something to do with Alan's sister Liv. Because we haven't really seen her lately. So I reckon it's probably going to be to do around her. Apparently Alan can't keep looking after Liv anymore. So I'm not sure what that's about. But yeah. We'll see. Fingers crossed nothing bad happens. I just want them to be happy. And yeah. I also watched... The Perks of Being a Warflower, I got that from the library yesterday from college and watched that last night. I love that film. It's such a good film. A bit sad at times, but yeah, it's just such a good film. And I watched some Dot 2 episodes and some Tortured episodes. And I just love Dot 2 so much. And I also watched, so why we watched BBC Class off of BBC iPlayer and what caught up with the soaps. And watch some other soap stuff and some Warborn stuff. And I had a cheese and pickle tasty for my lunch, and I've just been resting. I read my A Series of Fortune Fence, but I'm on the ninth book now. I'm almost finished with that book, so I'll go on to the tenth. Can't believe I've only got four books left out of the book series. I hoped one day to have a book series as great as a series of Fortune events because the books are just amazing. I love Lemon Snicket and I also need to finish off the Jacqueline Wilson Hattie Feather trilogy of books that I've been reading because they're just so good as well and I love them and I've got two of them to finish off. I started reading Diamond and then I got the new one so I need to quickly finish reading Diamond and then start on the next book. I also watched BBC Doctors and Escape to the Country and some Father Brown episodes and I had a cup of tea and a snack and sorted out my office because it was a white mess from where I've been doing some fashion designing and stuff 
And I also got talking to one of my mates that was from my secondary school on Facebook who I hadn't talked to in ages and told him about the Star College and what I'd been up to. And it was really nice to catch up with him and, see, and talk to him and stuff. And my dad and grandma are now back from sorting out the chairlift at my grandma's house. And I went on a nice walk and sat on a bench and did some drawing and had a nice little walk. I just love nature. And I'm going to be walking my dog Harvey later on, so that should be nice. I also may be going to the charity shops later to have a look around and just see what I can find there. Might be getting some new stuff for my dollhouse. Fingers crossed I can find anything or get uh, some new DVDs. Also, I found out that they're making a uh, Devil Wears Parada pantomime, no, not pantomime, like theatre show out of the film, and I love that film so much. Mel Street and Anne Hathaway are just amazing in it and I just love that film so much so I cannot wait to watch that apparently Alton John's going to be writing the music for the show so that should be quite good and yeah and also I've just been working on a new book a new story that I'm working on like a short story that I've kind of been working on at the moment and I did some arts and crafts and some drawing and I got my five blue tech dolls out ready to sort out and dress out and sort out my main blue tech dolls hair because it was getting a bit crazy. And I watched some old Disney shows and movies and watched the Lizzie McGuire movie. I also went out and threw the tennis ball for my dog out in the garden. It's a bit warmer than it was yesterday, still a bit chilly. And I took some photos for Instagram. I also went on to Facebook and Twitter for a little bit and I watched some YouTube videos and some vlogs and some vines and we tweeted quite a lot of YouTuber stuff like and also got some ideas for some videos that I could do myself. I also watched, watched a bit of Star Wars and last night we watched The Forbidden Kingdom. First day was amazing. My mum and dad and grandma had to go into Bristol because my mum had a meeting about her DLA that is disabled living allowance so she was supposed to be going all the way to Western but they cancelled so they actually made it so she had to come to Bristol so that was much better for all of us so we didn't she didn't have to go they didn't have to go all the way down to Western and so they had the meeting I was a bit worried because I, I was worried when they go when my mum goes out and stuff because of course of I guess suffer from anxiety and stuff but she was fine I didn't call that much I texted my dad a bit but that was fine and I had hair and beauty and we used the styling heads in the more, in the first part of the lesson and sort out the hair and it was really fun and we listened to some music. Then the second part of the lesson we just doodled and stuff and just played some games and did a bit more of the, used, used the styling heads a bit more. My mate also decided we were doing a bit of hair and beauty so we did a bit of makeup as well and they put mascara on me. Might as well have called it cement because I tried taking it off and the mascara would not come off. Luckily, I managed to rub a bit of it off so my eyelashes looked a bit more normal because they were literally out here. It was crazy. You could spot my eyes from a mile away, apparently. So it's just like, great, get it off. I've got naturally long eyelashes anyway, so it kind of just looked ridiculous because it made my eyelashes look even longer. And then in the afternoon, we did presentations. We had to work in pairs and do about a thing we have in common. And my mate who I was doing it with was ill and the work was on her computer also we hadn't really finished because we only just started because we'd been ill when they, when other people started doing their presentation so I didn't do it so I just spent the time watching the other people's presentation also during the afternoon break four of us stayed in to watch two of the people do theirs because they were quite nervous then we f we did some work on presentation and what went well what could have been better and about what social skills we used then it was home time thank god praise the lord it is the week it was the weekend we got out later than we do now because we used to get out at 3 15 but then because we kept on missing the bus because my bus comes at 3 19 we got we now get out at 3 10 but so, for some reason they let us out at 3 13 so again I panicked a bit but I managed to get there just in time for the bus to come 
Then I got home and I had a snack and just rested. And I watched the soaps. I also watched, caught up on a bit of the National Television Awards. And then the last night, my grandma went off down to Western with my uncle and auntie and their cousins and my cousins to have a nice meal. And she had some fish and chips. Because my cousin is going over to Australia in a few weeks' time to do some work over there for three months. And if he likes it, he may end up moving over there. So that'll be good. Get a free holiday to go over to Australia and see them. So that should be nice. And yeah, that means I'll have two sets of family over there. Because I've got some family over on my mum's side that live in Australia. And I'll have some people from my family living there. So that'll be quite nice. I also watched Home and Away from today. And watched some other soap stuff. And I watched Bullseye with my dad. And played on Subway Surfer, and I had a snack. And my dad, my uncle, brought my grandma back, and we had a nice catch up. And it was nice seeing him. And yeah, I've just been rambling on, just telling you what I've been getting up to. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy week. I was ill Monday, then I went in on Tuesday, then I had the Star College Wednesday, and then was in Thursday. And now I'm off today. Tomorrow I'm going swimming with my mate Matt, so you'll, uh, there'll be a new video out tomorrow about what we got up to. Because after swimming we're probably going to go to the charge shops and then have an explore around and just go for a nice walk. So that should be good. Hopefully the weather's not too cold. So I hope you've all had a lovely Friday and have a lovely weekend and I shall see you later. Bye.